both of them have a lot of opportunities to box the other out, especially on ledge. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, we're starting the first game just at Town and City, right? Yep. We're probably gonna be as we're probably gonna be seeing a game uh, where Belmont player is uh, actually always oh, just taking advantage of the space right there. It's not using a speaky fire, but well, again, I will. There's something good about uh, about Belmont against Nez, the fact that he has a lot of range. Recovery might be trash, but like he might be able to to absorb holy water. But at the end, projectiles, I mean, uh, characters with a lot of range are usually always really good against Nets. Yeah, that's definitely going to be the problem here is the Belmont's recovery. Because uh, Ness does not struggle with that problem. So if Best Ness manages to get Dom off stage in an unfavorable position and he's out of range of whip, he's basically stuck out of luck off the stage. Get back I the to the next. There, just as I said it, a perfect demonstration of my point. Thank you so much, Best Nest, for just showing the chat exactly what I was talking about. Getting caught and interrupted with the very tail end of the PK Thunder right there is going to mess up his recovery, and he's not going to be able to make it back to stage for a super early kill. Damn, oh my god, he's destroying him right now. Your reaction with the Abbey out of shield. He is still. So had to like a really huge lead, able to get him back off stage. The axe, but oh, that axe I'm gonna be able to take the stock right there. Change the space. That's the thing about Best Ness in general. When, when Best Ness gets a hit, he makes it count. You know what I mean? He doesn't. And it's, he uh, doesn't get a hit. He gets all of the hits. Right, and even just like how he's you know gimping. T3 dome. It's uh, it's it's rough because he's trying to make it so he's only hitting the tail. If he hits the main part of PK Thunder, uh, you know Richter gets hit upwards, which is fine because you know you just drift back onto the stage. But the way Bestness is lining it up, he's just making it so the tail hits, just stops all his air momentum, and it goes down the drain. And back to stage safely, but almost getting gimped right there. That axe looks like it could hit, but it didn't quite do it. This ledge trapping right here could be a problem for Best Ness, and yes, it is a problem. Getting hit by the axe on, like, what was that, the third ledge regrab? Yeah. Literally couldn't do anything, dude. It was like, it was literally trapped right there. Um, he's getting PK Thunder no, after he's PK Thunder. Him, man. He's mad. He's oh, near, oh no! Best Ness! Wait a minute. Wait a minute, okay, okay. Chill, 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 chill. <laughs> It's, I mean, last talk a piece though. Yeah, and we're so back like, to even. Like, it's yeah. still like really good for them right now. Yeah, Dom will take that any day of the week. Woo! Good recovery option right there from Dom. Could have been disastrous, but not quite. So let's see. Back on the stage here. Can Ooh. you make a count, T3? This is where Richter can be a, you know, that distance demon zoning out the nest. But right now, I mean, Bestness always able to find his way in. Almost getting caught by that whip right there, but the hitbox was just a little bit too low. Oh, is he dead? Oh, he could be. No, finally oh, really managing to escape in that back throw. is going to take it. He reacted a little uh -huh. bit faster to that holy water hitting him. He could have just fourth match him and he would have died for sure. But yeah, Dom yeah, almost had that comeback thanks to Bestness dying at zero on second stock with PK Rocket. Uh, Dom was almost, almost, almost handed the win on a silver platter, but he just reacted a little bit too late to capitalize on that, uh, on that holy fire right there and get the F smash and also the game. Yeah, that that was his one opening pretty much, but that back throw was definitely a kicked W moment. Like he just grabbed him, yeeted him out. It was just like, okay, what well, was done? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> but uh, he just very well played though from Best Ness. Just a quick update on loser side of the bracket. 8-Bit Man beat Myron 2-1 to send him out of bracket and move on to top eight. Chag 2-1 over Marvelous Marco to move on to top eight. Luis is up 1-0 on Mewtwo King right now, and Epic Gabriel is waiting for the loser of this match. I believe we'll get the loser of this match versus Epic Gabriel on stream as our last top 32 match before we move into top eight. That was amazing. Yeah, all right, so 
on to game number two. We'll see if T3 can get something going here, even with the unfortunate SD on Bestness's part. It was still like a pretty solid closeout from uh, Bestness. Bestness just looks really, really comfortable with these very safe edge guards that Ness can pull through with the PK Fire Tail against uh, against Richter. It looks pretty rough, but. I, every time T3 is on stage, he's gonna have to kind of like suppress the pressure that Bestness is, you know, putting out on stage and really just control, control, have more control and just not really let Bestness find his way in. Yeah. He's having a way easier time dealing with Nez on stage, getting him back to off stage every single time. He knows the less trapping is gonna work the best for him in this matchup. This is what he's trying to get right now. When he's off stage, he doesn't get the right hit of the up beat, but he's still gonna lose the banish. He, he actually just does get the right hit of up air. air. Wow. Yeah, that was that move is so so strong. I mean, I guess a lot of Ness's moves. He, Ness doesn't really have that much weakness, and wow, that forward air was not enough to kill. No rage on the Richter T3. Thank God, dude. Problem with the axe though. Great conversion right there off of the axe or sorry off of the holy cross into the axe for the stock t3 setting up all these traps you even see how he'll set up the holy fire try to go for you know a jump read with the ooh, with the forward air or the forward smash just like that and look at all these traps oh what with the wow double fire combo oh, wait a minute fire. yeah piggy fire holy water well, it's not really fire did if you see it that way it's actually water true actually yeah oh Oh, so he's not low. quite dead, but he was so very close to being dead. Oh, oh, he almost oh, caught by the axe. Actually, he didn't really expect the axe to hit him that far. Yeah, don't I'm making this look like an even matchup. Yeah, just imagine if he won the first game, man. If you yeah. had, like, a really huge advantage right now. Not only game, but, like, mentality oh. damage. Oh, my God. Throwing away his entire yeah, he, lead right he there. He probably wanted to homie stock for the last game. I don't know about that. I don't. I don't think anyone wants to homie stock in that situation. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know if homie stalking against the Ness is even a thing. Like, <laughs> oh man, but that that's unfortunate. But you know what? The best Ness had a SD game number one, so. Yeah, you could call it even at some point. Yeah, Bitsness SD'd still won. Dom SD'd, he could still win this right here. He's looking really, really good to take this second game, move on to game three, unless something drastic happens. Oh I don't think he's been off stage, but... Oh, he went off stage. That is, oh, that is something that. drastic. That obvious. He needs to. He does not that in the holy water. He is still getting the combos. He goes for the fourth match. He doesn't get it. Point that that be, but... Oh no! He was going for PK Rocket! Oh man, that was uh... Whew. The... The light at the end of the tunnel. He towned? Yeah, I think he did, yeah. Don't get bodied though. Don't get bodied. It's stuck and we are staying at game number three. Going into game three. I think all of our all of our top eight qualifiers, except for Sonics versus Luis, were uh... were uh, game threes. And the wow. that uh that was the taunt in neutral. Wow, T3 just really flexing the confidence there going into this game number three, even with the SD. Now, see who's gonna SD first, because that's the strat, right? Going into game. Yeah, three, SDing me. Whoever SD'd in any game, they won. They won that game. So definitely <laughs> remains to be seen who's going to mess up first. It's a it's a good luck charm. Yeah, I do see people in chat, uh, people are mentioning how Richter is such a campy character, but Dom makes him look so very stylish, and that, I agree with that so much. It's it's a world's difference. I don't know if any of you were watching earlier, when Bestness himself was playing Richter, it's like night and day watching ver projectile spam versus like the planned projectile traps into, uh, into like different confirms, into different things that like work so well, and Dom is doing an amazing job of capitalizing. Yeah, T3 is really good at, like, just being able to set up certain traps, and it it looks really cool because he's always thinking, like, a step or two ahead in terms of what he's setting up. He's not just, like, throwing projectiles out just for them to get the hit. Like, he is 
trying to get the hit, but he's more so just like, well, I'm trying to set up this boomerang with this holy fire because once the boomerang hits into the holy fire, I confirm into this, into the axe, or you know what I mean? Like he's always thinking like in terms of his offense, he's always thinking layers ahead, which I think makes him, you know, the 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 most hype Richter to watch in my opinion, just because he's always trying to do some crazy combo or set up into like an up smash or something like that. It's really really hype. Getting into this game three, where are they going? They're going to Pokemon Stadium two. So they ran uh, ran town and city for games one and two, uh, and now Best Nest is counterpicking to PS two. I think the the lack of space definitely is going to hurt Richter much more than it hurts Ness. That's for sure. But uh, we still need to keep in mind that Richter also has a really good out of shield move. That's that's His probably out of shield right now. Right now. Yeah. Beat of Shield is really good in this matchup. Yes, yes. Richter, I believe, has a frame six up B, so it's faster than Clouds. It's really strong. <laughs> also deals a lot of damage, but uh, what you can do, like, he's, they are like a really even percentage right now. Just does nice with station throw right there. Cold water, but uh, oh, he's getting damage. Even at nice percent. Even percent. Used by like about one percent. <laughs> they both go hit by the holy water. You think down here? Dude, I think he was gonna go straight for the obby, but instead of that, he wanted to get another setup. I definitely like that comment in chat. Dom plays Richter like 3D chess. He knows everything that's going to happen before it does. He's got all avenues planned out. He's ready for whatever you're going to throw at him. But oh, not was just, ready uh... for that one, though. He wasn't ready for that one, though. Wow. And... Definitely wasn't ready to get hit by that dying off stage. Going for the recovery. Looks like was that Uppy a miss input? I I don't know why he would Uppy with Best Nest that far away from him. I yeah, know, I man. mean, probably he probably maybe, maybe he thought the air drift wasn't there. I do want to say uh, we've been overlooking one aspect of this matchup, and that's how good Dom's SDI is. He's literally escaping PK fire after the first one. He never gets hit by a follow-up one because he SDIs out of it so very fast. Whoa! Okay, what was that? Oh man. Oh, so close. He wanted he wanted to detonate the. Uh, oh wait, can he get the stock though? This is important. No, doesn't get the tipper hit. Ness still living. Take this and that. Off by F throw, looking for something off stage, just kind of ignoring it. Oh, that from Steven. Slug strap, that force by getting hit, trying to obby once again. He's kind of using obby desperate way, but uh, he's still doing a good job. Just oh, getting damage right there. Slug traps. Looking for something both of them. Damage. Yeah, Bessness still only at 38%. He's definitely looking at something to finish. I love I, I it's such an like a rare thing to see in competitive, but I love seeing the bat reflect the projectile. Yeah, absolutely. And slowly clawing his way back. Wait a minute, get the setup. Did he get the double jump back? Another oh, one? He did. I was he was gonna do it for something else, but Ultimate is just able to do it even though he didn't get a dipper of the move. That was literally three PK fires in a row. Or not PK fire, uh, three holy fires in a row. All of them hit. Uh, holy, holy fire. Don't or PK fire fires. Fire. Oh, it's going to be confirmed. Abby did it. Abby did the other side. He would have picked the stock. Hacker is not able to do it. He's coming back to the stage. The recovery. Ness Ness went for the. for that. Uh, just to complete the edge guarding, but and there it is. Bestness manages to take the stock. He's not looking too bad on percents. He's just got to avoid getting hit by these combos from Dom. Looking for something out of it, getting a PK fire. He's starting to bring this back to even. Yeah, it's, oh man, it's, it's unfortunate too because we saw off stage on that last stock. You know, uh, T3 was able to set up the cross with the double jump. He tried to go for it again. Best Nest kind of more ready for that and was able to punish for it. But still, he, he still has the lead here. This is so, so close. And I got up here. Oh, one confirm away from finishing this off. 
dumb shield yeah, pressure is insane as he can. There it is. Dumb shield pressure. He tools one. Oh, that's a winner. Dude, that was that was intense. That was insane. That was Dom's shield that pressure was is beyond anything yeah. I've seen out of a Richter before. It's You're never safe when you're holding shield. It does not matter where you are. If you're not the one hitting him, you are getting hit. Yeah, it's, it's rough, man. I mean, just T3 really utilized everything, all of his character's tools to like keep up the corner pressure, keep the shield pressure on, and even offstage just did such a great job setting up you know, really staggering threats with the cross, with the holy water, with the forward airs, or back airs. It was just really, really well played. And 